According to a study done in 2018 with 31.2 million Strava users, so Strava is a health and fitness app, most people gave up on their goals on the second Friday of January. That means that tomorrow, today's Thursday, tomorrow, most people will be giving up on their New Year's goals. Those are my 2022 goals, my New Year's resolution and goals, and I am not gonna be, and I am not gonna be one of those people that give up on the second Friday of January. Now, of course, you gotta remember, it's progress, not perfection. So when I put that goal to vlog every day in this year, actually, you know, 364 days out of the year, hey, if I miss a day, that's okay. Shoot for the moon and you'll land among the stars. So I have this huge goal of vlogging 364 days. If I don't make it, I'm okay with that. My goals for 2022 are to move out of the pines, to spend quality time with my family, to run a 10K four days a week. Now, of course, I haven't hit that yet, so, if I run a 4K today <clears throat> and I run a 4K on Saturday, that'll be the first time in a running seven day period that I've hit four 10Ks in seven days. <clears throat> do a one arm pull up. That's gonna take me a, t a long time to do. Climb a 512, travel every month, which I have been doing. I went to Austin already last week. Actually, no, I went to Austin two days ago. Um, buy a Sprinter and convert it to an RV. Take a 10,000 mile journey. Go to South by Southwest. Build my new company, Content Guaranteed. Have 10 clients. Visit my brother and my mom. Pay off all my debt. Invest in clothes and build an Aikido Dojo. So those are all my goals and I'm sharing them with you because that helps me stay more accountable. It helps me stay on track. What are you doing? to help you stay on track so you don't become one of those people that give up on their goals the second Friday of January. That's tomorrow. What are you doing? Have you written down your goals? Have you shared them with somebody? I'm sharing these with you. You guys are gonna hold me accountable. At the end of the year, when I've made my 364th video, I'm hoping at least five of these goals will be completed. <laughs> It'd be nice to hit all of them, but hey man, progress, not perfection. So what are you doing and what have you done to make sure that you do not fail in completing your New Year's goals and resolutions? Now I have some suggestions. One thing that you can do is make sure that you've written down your goal. Make sure that you've written out an action plan. Share that goal with somebody with someone that's a friend, like a buddy, someone that'll help keep you accountable, not someone that's gonna shoot you down and saying, what are you trying to do? Why are you trying to do that, man? Come on. It's like, you know, when you try to quit drinking and then all your friends are like, man, that's so stupid. Come on, come get a drink with us, man. That's the kind of person you don't wanna hang out with to help you achieve your goals. Try to hang out with supportive people, change your environment. And, and you know, accomplish those goals because that's what's important to you. I remember when I decided to stop drinking, that was the hardest thing to do because everybody around me wanted to drink. So I just stopped hanging out with everybody and everybody got mad at me. Yeah, they hated me. They were like, they thought that I didn't wanna hang out with them because I didn't like them. But what they didn't realize is that I didn't hang out with them because I wanted to stop drinking. You've got to have like this iron will and you've got to just say, hey, what's important to you? Or what's important to me, right? What is important to me is to accomplish my goals. That's what helps me feel successful. That's what helps me grow. That's what helps me become more fulfilled and happier. Not by pleasing my friends and the people that are around me. Just keep that in mind because it's really easy to change your environment. I remember when I quit smoking, the easiest 
the reason it was so easy for me to quit smoking a long, long time ago, I mean, I think I was uh, 19 years old, is because I moved to Japan. And I just completely changed my group of friends. I had no more friends that smoked. So it was so easy to stop smoking. It was like instantaneous. And plus I was working out really, really, really hard. I was doing the martial arts like so many hours every single day that it was almost impossible to even want to smoke. I'm going to close out this video today asking you, what are you going to do to make sure that you accomplish your goals? How are you going to do it? Sit down, review your goals again, make sure that it's really, really, truly what you want and go after it 110%.